Hello friends, welcome back. We're gonna do problem 4.7. We got a liquid extraction problem here, another separations problem. And namely, I want you to kind of think about the chemistry and the physics, because we got we got some C6, one hexanol, hex, and some acetic acid. And if you've taken like OCHEM or you've done like OCHEM lab, uh, you, it's very, very similar to like putting it in a, in a liquid mixture and you're separating the fluids based on the miscibility properties. Mmm, interesting. So go ahead and as usual, try this problem out first because George E. Davis, otherwise known as the uh, father of chemical engineering, he would want you to try this out first, you know? So pause it. I'm serious. Pause the video. Okay, you try it out. So this is, of course, a mass balance problem. So what is the number of independent material balances that can be written for this process? We're going to be going into degrees of freedom. And so namely, you want to think about, hmm, how many equations can we write? How many variables do we have? Okay, so there's the overall mass balance. And we have three components, right? Because we have the hexanol, the water, and the acetic acid. And uh, so that's our three plus the overall mass balance, but we want to subtract one. So we have three independent mass balances. Why do we subtract one? Because one of the components, doesn't matter which one, is going to be independent. Because as soon as you have two components, you can solve for the last one via this equation that I talked about before. This is the mole fraction, okay? So now we got to do the mass balance, okay? We got to calculate each of these unknown flow rates. Uh, in real life, I believe a lot of the flow rates will be known uh, because they will be controlled as a function of time. Um, but this is a, uh, we still have to write the mass balance itself because um, <clears throat> initially there are, they may be unknown or there may be some changes in the process. And of course, for this initial problem, we got we got our practice uh, solving the mass balance. So, of course, if you write the mass balance, wrote it a billion times, you should have it tattooed on your forehead by now. Accumulation equals n minus out, but we're going to just assume that everything in is equal to everything out because there's no information about um, any reaction or anything like that. And namely, we got to add up all the mass flow rates going in and set them equal to the mass flow rates going out. So what is going in and out? Well, really, if we write the overall mass balance, this is going in and this is going in, add those together. This is coming out and this is coming out, add those together. And well, that's our first equation. And I like to either like box it or just kind of keep a little mental note of that's our first equation. Okay, if you were stuck there, I recommend you pause it again and continue it because this is pretty important for your uh, brain to kind of work this out itself. And next thing we can do is the hexanol balance. So what's going in is just this guy. This is acetic acid, not hexanol. And then what's coming out is this guy. So remember how to write the mass balance. We said the in equal to the out. And remember, we're multiplying the mole fraction by the molar uh, mass flow rate. Sorry, I've been saying mole fraction, but in this case, we got mass fraction. And so we can uh, box this guy. And remember again, this is from this equation where the mass fraction is equal to the total mass times the, uh, excuse me, the mass of that component is equal to the total mass times the mass fraction of that component. So that's why we multiply these these two together. Okay, I was a little bit confused about that for a, for a good while I was taking this class. All right, last thing we can do is the water balance. So again, what's coming in is going to be the water right here and set it equal to the water coming out. Very similar. Multiply it. All right, and do a little bit of math. Hey, look, we actually solve for the, uh, we actually solve for the flow rate of the, uh, R stream, raffinate, yay. Okay, but we still have two equations and two unknowns. So what time is it? It's out of the time. So we got this equation, all right? We can plug them into each other. We have this, all right? So see how I did that? If not, try it yourself. And now from here, it's just algebra. So I'm just gonna move some stuff over, factoring, and we can solve for our flow rate. Yay! So, now that we have our m dot e, from our first relation, we have m dot c as well. And we are pretty much done with the calculations here. Yay, that's pretty sweet. 
Not too bad, huh? Now the last question is, calculate the difference between the amount of acetic acid in the feed mixture and that of the 0.5% mixture. Mm. Okay, so in the feed, uh, acetic acid in the feed mixture, we have this guy right here. This is acetic acid. And this is acetic acid. And then we're it. And uh, what do we got? So in the feed mixture, multiply it. We get 46 grams per minute. Oh, what about the, uh, the output mixture? Oh, so we multiply. Careful with this 0 0.005, right? It's not going to be 0.5 or something like that. 0 0.005 because it's a percentage. And look, hey, I didn't show you m dot r, but can you calculate it? I think so because look, m dot e and m dot c, m dot e and m dot c. Plug it in. You can solve for m dot r. You get about 356. Multiply those together. And that gives us about 2 grams per minute. So the difference that it's asking for is going to be 46 minus 2. Should be about 44. What's up, George? <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it, honestly, for this problem. So get out of here. Thanks for watching. Uh, as usual, if you're not already in the playlist, it should be somewhere around here. And click the link to get to these slides. You're welcome for posting. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, and uh, please leave me any, any comments or questions. If I messed up, please let me know. And check the description if I, if I messed up or something like that. Alright, have a good one. <laughs>